Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to break down a common confusion in Java, the difference between collection and collections. They sound almost identical but they serve completely different purposes. Let's get started. First off, collection is an interface. That means it doesn't contain actual logic. It just defines the contract or the structure for classes that implement it like list, set and queue. On the other side, collections with ants at the end is a utility class. It's part of java.util and it's filled with helper methods that operate on or return different types of collections. So remember, collection is an interface while collections is a utility class. Moving on, the collection interface represents a group of elements like a list of products, a set of student names or a queue of tasks. It's the root of the entire collection hierarchy but the collections class is not used to hold elements. Instead, it provides static methods like sorting a list, reversing it, making it read-only or even synchronizing it. So, collection holds data and collections helps you work with that data. Now, let's talk about thread safety. Implementations of the collection interface like ArrayList or HashSet are not thread safe by default. That means if two threads try to modify the same list at the same time, you could get inconsistent results or even crashes. This is where collections comes in handy. It has utility methods like synchronized list or synchronized map that wrap your existing collections and make them thread safe. So collection doesn't protect your data in a multi-threaded environment, but collections gives you the tools to do it safely. And finally, method types. Starting from Java 8, the collection interface includes both static and default methods. That means interfaces in Java can now provide some reusable logic directly without forcing all implementing classes to define it themselves. But the collections class being a utility class only contains static methods. Every method in it like sort, shuffle or binary search is meant to be called statically without creating an object of the collections class. So the takeaway here is collection has static and default methods in its interface form while collections is a static only utility class. So to wrap it up, even though the names look almost the same, collection and collections are two very different things in Java. Collection is a foundational interface, a structure that holds a group of objects. Collections is a helper class, a set of helper methods you can use to manipulate or enhance collections. Understanding the difference will help you avoid confusion and make better design choices in your Java code. 